In this tutorial, we will find PMC IDs for articles in PubMed using the PMID to PMC ID converter. Every article included in PubMed has an identification number, the PMID. Here is a PubMed result list with the PMID numbers outlined in orange. The PMID PMC ID converter is a tool developed by NCBI to allow you to translate one or more PMIDs to PMC IDs to show that the articles have been deposited into PubMed Central in compliance with the NIH public access policy. Let's see how it works. Going to the internet, I'm simply going to search for PMID converter in Google or my favorite search engine. Click on it to open it up. You'll see the page is fairly self-explanatory. You can either go from PMID to PMC ID or from PMC ID to PMID. I'm going to paste a short list of PMIDs into the converter. You can either put one PMID on each row or separate them by commas and click on convert. Here is my result set. For two of the PMIDs that I looked for, I found PMC IDs. One of these went through the process that also a temporary number was assigned. For this third PMID, a temporary number was assigned, but the PMC ID has not yet been assigned. The asterisk tells us that the corresponding author has to go back to the system and make some approvals to get that final PMC ID. For this PMID, there is no PMC ID assigned yet or a temporary number either. This is a brand new article and the author or the publisher has not yet submitted it. In fact, when I looked, it had just been accepted for EPUB less than a week before I did this search. PMC ID Converter is very useful for checking an author or a group of authors' citations. This is how we do it. Start by looking up the author in PubMed. If you're looking for recent articles, you can put a limit on that result set. We'll choose the last year. I now have six articles. I'm going to go to Send To. Use the drop down to choose the PubMed clipboard and Add to Clipboard. Now I'll return to my PMC ID converter. This time I'll choose Get IDs from Clipboard. The PM ID numbers are entered. I can click on Convert. And now I have a list of the author's articles from the last year. I can see that five of the six have PMC ID numbers, so all I'll need to do is go back to check on this article. For this author, this is a new article, a recent EPUB, from a journal who submits for the author. So she has time to wait a bit unless she has a report due, in which case she could contact her publisher. To learn more about PMC IDs, see the Lister Hill Library Guide on the NIH Public Access Policy. And be sure to contact Lister Hill Librarians if you need help with this or anything else.